Here we are. Thanks for letting me hit you right over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah. You're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big, crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries, especially after, you know. I promise after this, we can chill at the house, cool? All right, it looks like Michael is hitting on, on Ty, on Tyler, but uh, Tyler's busy right now. He, he came out here for two things, to figure out what hey, happened to his mom. Are back that way. Second thing is to sell this house, get cash. So, did you ever come back? Shh, keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror neuron thing. A what? Monkey see, monkey do. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. You already know what we about to do. We about to visit Mary Ann's. Oh, it's crazy they call their mother by that. We're going to visit their mom's grave. Well, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave, just to make sure this is the right spot. You think it's possible Michael remembered it wrong? Well, I've done inventory with him. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branching? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. Guess again. again anything no nah, just a whole lot of nothing Yazzie why does that sound familiar Yazzie trucking he used to haul lumber for the sawmill oh yeah and he always blasts the horn for us <laughs> Rest in peace, Yassi. Rest in peace, Yassi. Lost in the chaos of history. What's that mean? Not sure. But Michael should know. When did Michael's uncle die? Last year. It was really hard on him. He's still feeling it. Long time no see. Do you want some company? Come on over. Make yourselves comfortable. So, how are you, um, holding up? <sighs> Everything's such a mess. I thought we'd almost be done packing by now. I'm so ready to put this place behind us. 
At least Mr. Hollywood Handsome over there is good company. Funny how you never mentioned what your brother looked like before he got into town. Oh, I just thought I'd surprise you. Is this a bad time? With you? Never. Don't mind me. I'm not really here. Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. You're old news, lady. You wound me. Deeply. <laughs> so, can I help you guys out somehow? What was your uncle like? So, what was your uncle like? Oh, boy. Where do I start? Y you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex and never leaves his recliner? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm getting the picture. <laughs> Not yet you aren't. As grumpy as he was, they didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at, even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. I guess we could... You and your sure. uncle were really close, huh? Definitely. I could push his buttons without even trying. My family's old school clinket. Spent more time with my uncle than my dad. He was the first person to test out all my new recipes. Even before Allison. Guess I should thank Uncle William for saving me from a muffin top. I wouldn't be too sure about that, Allison. Hey, not you two. No teaming up. That's not fair. Ha. I've turned your brother against you. Whatever. You can keep him. Um, about this place. Hey, can I ask you something about this place? Yeah, shoot. What's the story behind the Clinkett Memorial? May the memory of our dearly departed never be lost in the chaos of history. That was Uncle William. <laughs> lost in the chaos of history? Well, let's say you wanted room for a school or a road and didn't give a shit about ethics. Easy. You just dug up our ancestors. That shit happened a lot. God. Assholes. Yeah. And I mean, it still happens, but not as much. We have the elders to thank for that. Hmm. I'll stop bugging you now. Well, I'm here if you're ever curious. Um, uh, where was the grave at, by the way? Uh, so we might be having some trouble finding a particular grave. Are you serious? Walk straight to the big tree, then look to your right. I swear, bats have better eyesight than you two. Says the guy wearing glasses. Yeah, but these are magnifying glasses, and they do infrared, so I see everything. Alright. Oh, what did he say? Uh... Uh, so, we might be having some trouble finding a particular grave? Are you serious? Walk straight to the big tree, then look to your right. I swear, bats have better eyesight than you two. Says the guy wearing glasses. Yeah, but these are magnifying glasses, and they do infrared, so I see everything. Alright, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it! Alright, can we get out this conversation? Thank you. Talk to you later. You bet. Let's so get out this graveyard. See if we go in here. Find something, you know? Nope. Alright, look to the right. Nope, this ain't it. Oh look! Until we meet again. Until we meet again. Oh no, I was thinking of uh the one hundred. You know the saying they be saying when they die. Until we meet again. <laughs> Oh, I love that show. If you haven't seen The 100, you have to check it out ASAP. ASAP, check it out. Lewis. Wasn't he that fancy fisherman? Yep. Eddie still watches reruns of the show he was on. Every once in a while, his face pops up. It's super weird. Oh, that's cool. Alright. 
tree to make a right, so I'm guessing it's through here. Where are you going? Let's go. Tyler? Alright, he said at the tree, make a right. Is it this until we meet again? Ben, short and simple. I like it. Come on, there's only a handful left. Allison, you coming? I'll be right there. Well, I better make sure he doesn't get lost. See you, Michael. Thank you. Now let's go through this fence. Come on. Wait up. Michael said it would be close to the crooked tree. Oh, maybe he's talking about this right when we come this way to right. Okay. I'm thinking it's the way. Ah, uh, never mind. Yazzie. Why oh, does that sound familiar? Yazzie trucking. He used to haul lumber for the sawmill. Oh, yeah. And he'd always blast the horn for us. Guess again. No luck on my end. You? Nothing. Oh, we already did that. We already did that one. De Leon. That's the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. She's through the gate. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Hmm? Kids. It's time. I just heard Eddie's voice. But it's another memory. Do we really have to go, Eddie? You can hold my hand if you want. I can walk fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. Remember where she is? No. And for what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. <sighs> well, only a few. Uh, Allison, please. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going. <laughs> Allison, come back. <sighs> <sighs> yeah. And he hoped that this would be easier than last time. Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm oh. holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. Before we check that totem out, look. It's Tessa. Visiting Mary and... Oh, hi. Oh, this ain't Tessa. I didn't see you there. I'm tripping. I'm sorry. <laughs> we didn't mean to eavesdrop. No harm done. Hey, you're that nice gal from the Vecchi store, Allison, right? Yes. And you're... Um... It starts with a K, right? Kendra. Don't worry. Don't expect you to keep track of everyone who passes through. And you would be... Her brother. I'm Tyler. Pleased to meet you, Tyler. Uh, 
I, I hope this isn't rude, but where's that accent from? Georgia, born and raised. <laughs> Landed in Delos about two years ago. From Georgia to the middle of nowhere, Alaska. There's gotta be a story there. Well, I wasn't planning to stay for more than a few months. And we came up for the fishing season, just like we'd done twice before. My husband, Meech, he always tried to convince me to stay on longer, but I wasn't having it. But then, well, we lost him. Fishing accident. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Way too many families around here have lost someone that way. Yeah, something's gotta change. Anyway, now it's just me and my daughter, Jaina. And I just can't bring myself to pack us up and leave him here all alone. Do you want to go back to Georgia? Well, that's the real question, ain't it? I never used to like it here. Too cold, too quiet, like a frozen desert. Thousands of miles from family. But these days, I finally started to see it the way Meech did. All the beauty. Are you okay? Yeah, I... I just wish it hadn't taken losing him to get me to come around. I'm realizing now I fought him more out of stubbornness than anything else. That's... Uh, that's gotta be hard. Yeah. Don't ever let your own sense of what is come between you and the people you love. It's a real easy way to squander precious time. Do you think you might stay then? Well, my mama's been making the case that Jaina deserves to grow up with family. And she's probably right. But if I'm honest, the solitude here is a bit of a relief. I don't have to worry what a hundred other people are up to. Just, you know, me and my girl. No matter which way I look at it, there just ain't a clear choice. What do you think Jaina wants? I think she's happy to be wherever her toys are. <laughs> but when I think of how close I was to my cousins growing up, well, she may not realize she's missing out, but she will be. You know, I probably put too much stock in chance encounters, but... You have any thoughts? Uh... You should stay. It sounds like you've got a good thing going here. Why not give it a little more time to see? I do, don't I? I can always change my mind, but... For now, it feels like the right thing to do. It sounds like you've only got good options. I don't think you need to worry about making a wrong choice. Hmm. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Well, uh, we should get moving. I hope everything works out for you and your daughter. See you around, Kendra. You do have a good day. I think that's awesome. You stay with your husband. Don't leave him. Damn. She got kind of stranded out here. Those kind of accidents happen all the time. The penalties cost less than safety upgrades, so... So they do jack shit. Life's good. Alright, let's check out this memory we got. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. Uh, I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but... I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but... Look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. They all think you killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. But I'm gonna come see you every week. And we'll talk with our voice every day. But I'm gonna come see you every week, and we'll talk with our voice every day. I'll be back soon, all right? Promise. I'll be back soon, all right? Promise.
But I'm gonna come see you every week, and we'll talk with our voice every day. But I'm gonna come... I'll be back soon, all right? Promise. I'll be back soon, all right? Promise. Chief Brown's gonna take care of you. We'll be okay, you'll see. Kids. It's about to start. I'm sorry it took me so long to come back. I got so caught up in everything that... You really don't have to explain. I understand what you were going through now. Are you ever gonna let me finish my sentences? <laughs> Maybe someday, but not today. This spot. You think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy owls only tend to live about 10 years. Oh, <laughs> rest in peace, Snowball. Got us another memory. Man, I forgot how hard Marion took it when Eddie's mom died. Well, we were only four, but yeah. She lost one of her only friends. She was always saying how she never would have found a place in Delos Crossing without Carol. You think her death kicked off Marianne's, you know? It definitely didn't help, but no. It was years later. Yo, Mary Ann got a spot by the water. That's what I'm talking about. Ty. This, this is it. Yeah. God, I, I think I need a second. I'm gonna not nah, this one. I'm gonna have a still not the one. I'm gonna have a look around, okay? I'll be right back. Yeah, all good. There it is. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Miles. Mary Ann Rowan. Allison. Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What? Rogue? I wasn't expecting to see. What are you... What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? No, I won't do this again. 
Mm. I refuse to be held responsible for her choices. Marianne was fine until you reported her. Fine? She was getting by on handouts for years. There are only so many times you can show up high to a generous offer of employment. Assuming you show up at all. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us! Until you threatened to have us taken away! I couldn't let her drag you down with her! She had you stealing for God's sake! Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well... Just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa. All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. I get that Marianne wouldn't let you help her. But there had to be a better way to deal with it. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Yes, you're right. There were other things I could have done. Better things. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man, I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been... hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. They're gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. Hey, we need answers. We need to talk to Sam. We need some answers. I'm over here playing good cop. We need answers. That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. Start playing bad I had cop. pretty much given up on her. But I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. I bet Tessa's thinking the same thing. Yep. Things are gonna be real awkward my first day back in the office. Oh, I'm sure you'll both manage to never talk about today. Exactly. Awkward as hell. You wanna sit down for a bit? You know, we got packing to do. So we got packing to do. Okay, we'll have a seat. Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Listen, I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know, you're the only one. Hey, brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately. 
which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait, are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. Nothing. You've been working on that accounting degree. And your art's good. Really good. Stop putting yourself down. As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house. And you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy. But we always pull through, right? Yeah. You're right. Hey. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, that's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So, I guess we know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos, and Delos was done with her. Maybe she was too proud, but... She worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa. Or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she... She... Gave up. But killed her kids? Really? I don't know. It still feels like there's something missing. I think she's... Right? I think she's gonna kill herself. That's what I think. And you just walked in at the wrong time. You're never gonna understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. It's probably always gonna feel that way. Oh. I'm gonna fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Shit. Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. Stay there. I got it. What happened? Uh, there, there was a, a guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. God. Why would someone try to burn down our barn? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. Yo, to be honest, I'm gonna throw out a wild theory here. The only people we know so far I met in that building Everything's on the floor. is Michael from the Superstore. That's all I'm saying. Well, at least he left us the Junker. So, did Eddie teach you how to put out a fire? Nope. Did he really have to smash everything? He went looking under the rug?
Hey, come check this out. Is that a box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? Huh. These planks look newer than the rest. That corner used to be all dirt. For chickens. She was always saying how she was gonna make this place a real homestead. Little house on the tundra. This gas can was already here this morning. He didn't bring it with him. Well, you know they're covering up something, guys. Huh. We'll take this. At least you were spared. Asshole even dumped the drawers. He really turned this place upside down. What was he looking for? Oh, we're about to find out. I guess we know how he made the hole. Thanks for leaving evidence, bud. Step back. I'll be fine. box is about to blow our mind. Well, I only know one person who'd bother to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Marianne. Open it. Let's open it. Open it. What's that there? Some kind of carving. Not sure what it is, though. Three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. That wasn't it. Well, guess what, guys? We are going to figure this out, aren't we? Well, would it be one, two, three? Come on. Would it be three, two, one? Ugh. Any brilliant ideas? Knowing Marianne. It's probably connected to the book. Finding anything? Goblet. Just give me a sec. We wrote a shit ton of stories. We love this stuff right here. The captain loves this stuff. It's too easy. Too easy. Full cheesy. Let's see. Just got, got to look for the chapter. Goblin. Tricks in my head. Goblin. All right, let's just start with this. Let's see what we got. Uh, let's look for numbers. How about that? Let's skim through, look for any numbers, and I'm sure we'll find it. Give it through looking for any types of numbers. Find the numbers. Be easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. If there's no numbers, then we really <laughs> gotta figure this out. Wait, look, it's the same symbol. The secret keeper. Well, let's see if we can find any numbers. That is, uh, my dog's barking in the background, which is actually just the one dog. The other dog is laid up right here asleep. The other one is barking, and that will be the chihuahua. <laughs> but I love him. But right now, I'm trying to do a video here, buddy. All right, now miss, did she say something? She said something right here, okay? Once upon a time in a deep and ancient forest, the crafty goblin spied on the secret keeper as she made her rounds gathering up secrets that the animals of the forest have for sale. Huh. 
Okay. Let's see, is there a number? It has to be right here. It has to be the secret keeper. It has to be this story right here. Uh, I should enter this room. Just came to her head. Hey, you go. It was my fault. Chose the uneven trail. I can't bear to remember. The secret keeper nodded and gazed into Stalwart Moose's eyes. Though the goblins couldn't hear anything, they knew she was speaking to the moose. The secret keeper spoke in people's minds with the gift of the voice after a few minutes. The, st the stalwart moose blinked. I feel lighter, said the moose. Did I give you something to secret keeper nodded? Handed him a coin. The steward moose nodded and plotted the coin. Do we have a picture of the coin? The steward moose nodded and plotted along down the trail. Spied the goblins hiding in the woods and narrowed his eyes, for he knew the goblins were often up to mischief. The two goblins whistled innocently, and the moose was forced to carry on because they were not doing anything obviously bad. All right, they need to know what the secret was. Let's go buy it. Okay, here we go. It's going to be how much it was, I guarantee you. Want to buy the moose's secret. What do you want to trade? Okay. Hold on, what page is this? All right. Uh, I think it's gonna be the cost of the moose's secret. The secret keeper moved on. The first guy said, I want to know more. So the guy follow the secret, he'll to find more of the secret. Watch, blah, 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 blah. Reach out his mad hands into the clouds. Heads filled with memories and they snatched their hands back out. So they just thrust them to boiling water. Okay. Um, tch, 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 tch. You stole my secrets. Give them back. What do you give in exchange? I'll give you back the silver, silver-handed hairbrush. Offer the secret. For so many secrets. I have to offer more than that. What if I shared the gift of voice? Got the gun through the That will do. Give voice with the goblins. Me, they found that they could hear one another's thoughts. Feel each other's feelings. Sounds like the twin intuitions. Um, there they found the princess preparing food. They tried to peer into their mind. So I don't see no price here, guys. I don't see no price. Uh, see a number three down here in the corner. If you see that three on the page. Maybe there's a three. And do we got any other numbers? Oh, right here. I see a one on the bottom of the page. Y'all see that? One. I see a three. Do we get do we got any other numbers? Alright, I see a one right there. Then a three. Do we got any more numbers on the bottom? Okay. There it is. So we got a one, three. Look at the pages on the bottom. One, three, and a zero right there. So y'all see that, right? So the zero is in the middle of the middle of the paragraph on the third page here. And it's off to the side right there. And that three's on the bottom of this page. And, oops, let me go over. And one's at the bottom of this page right here. All right, good work. And that should do it. One, three, zero. That did it. Let's go. This is what we do. This is what we do. Captain Salzman. The cap, let's go. I always get hyped. I get I get super hyped, y'all. I get super hyped when I when we could solve puzzles like that. Guessing she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. Dear Marianne, I need to see you again. I know how that sounds, and I don't want you to think I chased after all the new girls in Dove's Crossing. I've always taken my vows seriously. Something changed when I met you. When we're together, I feel like I'm doing 80, 
doing 80 down the highway with my lights off and I never want to stop. I know it isn't right and we both have a lot to lose, but I need to be with you. Again, I hope you feel the same way. P.S. I bought you a little something for next time. I can't wait to see how it looks on you. Alright, Marianne. Alright, Marianne. What a mess. Fuck. That's rough. Marianne, I'm sorry you're in this situation. I know you, f this, I know you feel... This guy tried to push Marianne to get an abortion. I know you feel... Even you. though she wanted to keep us. Alright, as I'm trying to read... Come on, Tyler. You see I'm reading? I know you feel... You make a great mother. I don't doubt you will someday. But right now, we have to be sure we don't ruin three lives. My marriage hasn't been happy for some time, but she doesn't deserve this. I'm mostly not worried about you. People here talk, and I don't want you to have to go through that. I know money has been tight, but I'll do what I can to help you do the right thing. Wow. Sam is the daddy. That's crazy. Sam's the daddy. everything. What the hell? So, Marianne hid a box under the barn. A box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. Wow. He turned the whole place upside down and didn't take anything. All he wanted was that box. And he was willing to burn down the barn to get rid of what was inside. You know what it all means, right? Yep. That guy had an affair with Marianne and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. you, but I haven't forgotten anything about that night. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to see the rest. But you know what happens down there. That's the thing. I'm not sure I do. <sighs> All right. Let's go. Oh, maybe Marianne was trying to kill the baby daddy. <laughs> did I actually see? You saw your daddy, Junya. Trail ends here. It looks like he jumped into the gully. Hey, are there footsteps on the other side? Yeah. That must be where he climbed out. Well, he's long gone. doing trying to figure this out Over there? The Mad Hunter! What? No. That. That was the Mad Hunter. What? 
What are you talking about? That night, I thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods, but I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah, unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait, he was here once before, wasn't he? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe? Hold on, do you feel that? Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock, about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. Wow. Even after what I did for you? Yeah. Yeah. Say that. Nah, say it. Just one more time. Just one more time. Please. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. What? How... How... How can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. Allison. I'll do it. Let's go. All right, here we go. Let's get this popping. This is about to be a juicy one. We can do it. Don't let go. Wow, this is about to be a juicy memory. Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet! I don't want mom to catch us out of bed. I told you, I told you that would happen. We almost had it though. That was us watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try to focus on him, all right? Don't think about anything else. I'll, I'll try. Shut. I don't owe you anything. You've been a little... all over the place lately. All over the place? I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. But we were so damn close.
I'm sorry. But I'm done. That's it? You're just giving up, just like that? You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley, or it's only gonna get worse. Mom to catch us out of bed. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? What do you mean? Well, if those kids have a father, you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Allison? So, I got the whole story summed up, everybody. After chapter two, I am... <sighs> All I gotta say is I watch a lot of television. A lot of television. I play a lot of video game stories. Right? And we all know what happened. They're trying to throw us off. They're trying to put us on to Sam's scent, right? And saying that he did it. He had an affair and that's why him and his wife split up, right? No, 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 no. We know who it was now. It was Mr. Fetchy. It was him. It was his voice. It was Mr. Fetchy. It was him. That was him. And if you look at the build of the person and the way he was standing and the way he was sitting down in the store, that is Tom Vecchi, that is him. He's the one that she had an affair with. Well, she didn't have an affair. He had an affair. And that's why his wife found out, and his wife also knew about it. I think she did know about it. So, um, there's more secrets. And I'm tired of being playing good cop, bad cop. But I think Eddie knows more that he's not telling us. I think he does know more. And I think that Mr. Vecchi, he ain't telling us everything. And uh, his wife, Tessa, is not telling us everything. So I think next chapter, it's time to play bad cop. No more playing nice. No more playing nice. No more. So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to let these credits roll. But I'm going to keep talking until the credits are finished. Uh, I don't like to cut off the credits. You know, because uh, Don't Not Entertainment, they have worked very, very hard at this game, the whole team. And everything turned out right now so far with, I, with what we have, you know, played. Um, it's it's amazing. I like it. All the features, the graphics, it's kind of realistic. 
Um, I hope it could transfer from, uh, you know, from the Xbox and over to the to the computer here. I hope you know it comes out just the way I'm I'm looking at it right now. So, um, just very excited to be bringing you guys content again. Uh, there's gonna be a lot more content coming. So. I'm not going to sit here and promise every single day, but I'm going to sit here and promise you every day because that's what we do. And we want to bring you great content. So the content only gets better, you know, with the more hours we put in on, on, on the sticks, the better it comes out, right? So um, it ain't going to get worse. It's always going to get better with audio, video, everything, and myself included. So... Like I said before, I want to create a YouTube channel into being a YouTube channel, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so this is what we're doing. Uh, if you're still listening, if you're still here, listen to me blab on because I, I could blab on for hours, for days. Just know this. If you subscribe right now, if you become part of this community right now, I'm offering you something. Okay, I'm going to offer you something that you ain't going to get nowhere else. Okay, so this is a big time offer. If you subscribe right now, this is what we, this is what we are going to offer you. And when I say we, I'm talking about everybody who is already subscribed. This is a community of love. Nothing but love. Nothing but positivity and love okay we offer you a chance to become part of a community a community that is very supportive and open-minded to to whatever you know um, so whatever you're going through or whatever you know if if you need anything anything at all just drop just drop a comment you know send me a message on social media let's talk you know let's build this community up let's let's lean on each other to get through whatever you know that's what a captain's all about and that's what captain CV is all about so um, some of you might not know but if you're listening I think you deserve to know since you are still here listening CB it means see it believe it um, I look forward to building this community with that you know uh, so please subscribe leave a comment hit me up on social media you know and always like the video we want to get the algorithm working we want to get these these videos you know onto people's channels wherever they may be you know whether they're in their passenger in a car, whether they're on their lunch break at work, you know, whether they're at home and just sitting there bored on the couch, whether they just woke up and they're on the toilet browsing through their phone. It doesn't matter. All right. Doesn't matter. But anyways, thank you guys. I love y'all. Peace and love.